good things about New Mexico. Of course, New Mexico Magazine. Mm -hmm. That's staying put. <laughs> it is published monthly and features topics from around the land of enchantment. Including our multicultural heritage, arts, climate, environment, and diverse people. And joining us now is Dave Herndon, the editor-in-chief of New Mexico Magazine. Dave, good to see us. you. Great to be here. Good yeah. to see you. All right, so we're talking, uh, the cover story here, mm -hmm. uh, living in New Mexico and gardening. Right. Let me tell you something. I have the worst green thumb. It's black. It is it's black. It's not there. And I usually think, well, gardens in New Mexico, I have friends You're that right. live back mm -hmm. east, they don't think gardens in New Mexico, but we actually have some pretty incredible ones it here. It can be done. Um, yeah. We have a story about a legendary garden in Santa Fe um, that has been cultivated for the last 40 years by a woman named Elspeth Bobbs, who's half English. And so she comes with the whole English garden aesthetic. And she's had to adapt it to the southwest, mm -hmm. you know, realities of soil and vegetation and, and climate and um, water issues. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got a four and a half acre garden on, uh, on Canyon Road um, that has over 100 varieties of roses, for instance. I mean, wow. it's a, and she's, um, you know, she's 94 years old. She's, she's uh, legendary. Mm -hmm. She's... Um, She's been named a Santa Fe living treasure, mm -hmm. and there are actually bumper stickers in Santa Fe that say, I'm a friend of Mrs. Bob's. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Good wow. for her. <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so that's, our, that's yeah. our contribution to the, the garden lore in the, mm -hmm. okay. this, this month's issue. Okay, well, now there's also uh, the OK Wingy uh, restoration that's going on. Right. So, so let's talk about so, that. So, you know, uh, Adobe is our signature building material, it's our signature architectural style. Mm -hmm. It takes the proper care and feeding. And somehow people, you know, lots of people lost sight that um, Adobe needs to breathe, it can't yeah. be sealed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is a problem of like uh, restoring old Adobes, and you see it in a lot of different places. One of the places was OK Wingy Pueblo. The heart of the Pueblo was literally kind of crumbling yeah and they had the um, you know the vision to restore it because people were dispersing and you know, they're losing the heart of the of the Pueblo so um, so they hired some you know architects and um, you know builders to come in and restore the heart of the Pueblo by building in the traditional style mm -hmm with the real mud plastering mm -hmm. and teaching the people how to do the mud plastering because it has to be, yeah. you know. Yeah. Which um, I think is important. Yeah. Yeah, Sharing right. that and so, legacy. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, the but, yeah. you know, these new houses have all the, all the mod cons it's and everything. Yeah. It's 21st century housing in a traditional style. That's and great. so, that, you know, they can perpetuate the, you know, really keep the heart of the Pueblo alive, which is important, you know, because people will go out and they'll find cheaper kinds of housing, you know, yeah. out on the Pueblo land, and, and it won't be the same. People right. living in double wides out, you know. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, that they've won a lot of um, awards for that restoration project, right. historical preservation awards, and, you know, it's really right. a great, great thing. Yeah. And interesting there, and I'm kind of speaking of improvements, east side of Santa Fe, I think, is going under some renovations. Well, so this was, this was you know, the, um, this happened in, in residential neighborhoods, mm. too. So yeah. Very similar thing. I mean, it's uh -huh. Adobe's Adobe, right? Yes. And um, so this is a, uh, a case of a residential house on the east mm -hmm. side of Santa Fe, real near Elspeth Bob's, by the way. Uh -huh. um, and, um, you know, they had mold issues. They had drainage issues. They had... They, it, they, they bought the house and it was like peeling back the onion, you know, yeah. and discovering new problems all the time right. to solve. Um, and but they did, you know, they kind of knew what they were getting into too. Right. And um, and uh, you know the the tactics that they used to restore it and then make it into like again a modern, um, you know, a 21st century home with all these traditional um, appeal of the yeah. old old. Oh, yeah, so you can definitely see the, the Scandinavian influence in some of that right. stuff here. Now, uh, just to round it out, uh, again, going back to the gardens, let's talk about some of the other beautiful garden stories that you've got going on in here, because it's pretty incredible, everything that happens in mm -hmm. Mexico. Well, you know, there's um, the cover shot we had was, is of a, um, of a garden with great water features mm -hmm. um, down in Las Cruces. And there, yeah. no, you're really talking about, you know, um, you know having, um, it's arid there. And, yeah, but, right, you know, yeah. And, um, and, but uh, you know, the, you know, people know how to do it right, and it's set against the Oregon Mountains um, backdrop there, so it's yeah. like a classic uh, sort of New Mexico vista, but with a little more 
uh, greenery, a little more floral assets, and a, yeah. little and a great water feature. Yeah, it is incredible that, you that, know, that this is happening in Cruces. I right. Know, right. This is right. incredible. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> think this. Anyway, lots of stuff in here. Uh, great article about uh, Otmar Liebert performing with the Mexico Phil, I got to mention. A great thing about the Isleta renovation going on. So much stuff. Very quickly, Dave, where can people get their hands on this? Well, we're at newsstands all over the place, A, so you can get the current issue that way. Uh, you can go to nmmagazine.com and subscribe. It'll take a few weeks for the subscription to kick in. Um, those are those are the two the best, best ways. There, there is an 800 number too. I, I don't know if we're going to show it or not, but okay. um, yeah, there's there's uh, or you, I'd say the one stop shop is to go to nmmagazine.com and, and of course. follow, Easy click through yeah. to the subscriptions, and you can That's either right. call or or do it on, online that way. Yeah, well, we of course we'll have links to nmmagazine.com. Get your hands on this great issue, great stories Absolutely. in here, Dave. Always a pleasure. Again, head over <laughs> to casa.com for all the information. We'll